hooked on him. Wow, big one. Oh, how are we gonna do this? Could you just hold this while I run around? Sure. Got him, okay, okay. What's up YouTube, we just pulled up to the boathouse. We're over here fishing these columns underneath the uh, leasing office, the gym and whatnot. Bryce, I don't think got one on camera, but him and Christian have had maybe four or five catches already. I think the bite's looking pretty good. We're gonna hit this bank over here behind us. That uh, side tends to do well, and uh, we gonna see what happens, y'all. I think we can get a Mondo on today's vlog. Let's get in there, switch y'all over to the GoPro, have at it. Oh, had him on. Damn. Did y'all catch that? We had one. We ripped him right off the hook. I wonder if the GoPro was angled down enough for you guys to see it. Dude, this would have been the sickest catch. I had one right in between the columns. It was textbook. And like he was running with it. I set the hook and he flew out of the water and came off. We're here at the boathouse in the colony. There's uh, apartments over here. Christian just uh, left to go pick up his girl and then Bryce and I are sticking it out for a minute. We're fishing these columns underneath the, uh, what is this, like the gym? This is like the leasing office, but the gym is right here next door too. They got the pool over there, but yeah, I mean, they're gonna be stocked up against this structure. Most likely, oh, I hit that third column out there, guys. I hit that third one, I haven't been over there yet. This is a good cast. There's square concrete blocks at the base of each of these columns, and it's easy to get your hook caught on those and, and break off as Bryce uh, has done <laughs> already for us. I wasn't filming at that point, so it's no demonstration, but you gotta half. be careful. Cracked a hook and a half. I wonder if I should even worry about this over here. I'm gonna give it a cast, but, oh, that's the wall. Never chip tungsten. Thanks, Woo. And a bobber Oh my goodness. Oh! He's on. He's on. He's on. This, oh my goodness. No, this is too easy. 7-6 heavy. We don't play around with this rod. Behind you, like, oh my god. Are they, are they, they tripping that? out? Are they tripping out? Are they watching? No, I hit them. No. Are they I hit them in the window one time with the fish. <laughs> From up here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you. My brother and I went over here right, right in front of the gym. No and way. It, yeah, you turn around, there's people riding on the fish. I didn't know people were dumb enough to fish from up here. I'm just messing around. I'm oh, just trying right. to have fun for YouTube. What's up, security? Yeah. Guys, if you're ever having trouble getting your hook out from the bass, what I just did, that little technique right there, you just pop the hook. And even if you're, you're not gonna hook yourself, because even if it goes at an angle, you won't, you won't get hooked in most cases. <laughs> I haven't hooked myself doing it yet, because that barb goes in past their mouth, and then it's gonna be tough to get it out. So you can push all you want, you might not get it. That little pop, though, does the trick. I'm gonna get him back in the water real quick. We'll catch some more for you guys. First one of the day. Hey, thank you, it's a little guy. We'll get, we'll get some nice ones, though. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, we're gonna let him go. Just on the other side of the bridge from where we caught him. And look at all this bait fish for him. Oh my goodness, sinking sand. All right, I gotta throw you in from here because it's, uh, my shoes are sinking in the mud. All right, let's go for number two. Now imagine if that was like a three. I don't know if it's even worth it to cast right here. I can pretty much see everything. Watch this. Oh, I can see the bandito from here, it looks good. You want to walk that bank over there on the back end, or? I'll go ahead and grab the rest of the goodies because we're gonna hit this bank over here, so might as well carry all the stuff. Look, you're passing bass right now. What are you doing? Okay, good looking out. Right by my feet. I literally brought the bandito bug right to the edge of this grass line right here, and I was thinking there might be one just chilling. Yeah, that barb, it's gonna make it hard to push. And that's the point, is so that it gets a good hook set, and it won't allow the fish to get away while you're bringing it in. That hook barb right there, give it that pop. See? Sometimes you have to give it that pop, and sometimes you don't. That one wasn't too bad, but getting that hook out of the bass can be tricky sometimes and not too bad other times. I'm gonna hit the rest of this grass line, because I think they're just gonna be hanging out right along the edge. He got ripped up a little too much. Break off a little chunk, and we can reuse this for a minute. Now it's a little awkward looking, but it should get the job done, and if I don't catch anything in the next five minutes or so, doing that same thing, fishing right here on the edge of this line, then I'm just going to switch right back to a new one, because I've got plenty in my pocket. 
He was literally just right here along the edge. Oh, there's another. Dude, he just took it to the right. Oh my God, swimming with it. I should have let him have it for a second. No, I'm not even, I didn't even cast like a couple feet out. Okie dokie. All right. We know they're here. Nice. fast one on this place guys we just made this sweet move right here we about to catch some more fish off these balconies I'm thinking black and blue almost but I'm a classic man quarter ounce blue tungsten with their weight pegs two watt worm hook oh are you on oh no way I don't think y'all can hear Bryce but bass was just chasing the crack and crawl up I'm gonna try and link up with one from up here. We'll see, man. That'll be dope. Hit me up. But it really does look pretty dirty to me. I'm gonna make the switch to black and blue. It's funny, guys, but all the turtles are over here. I think I'm going to cast where the turtles are. Oh, we got a bite. I don't know if he's on. Got him. There he is. It's about time. Got one out deep. I was just thinking where these turtles are out here, guys. Um, the water might be a little bit warmer. They're cold blooded. They like to stay where the water is warm. Biggest one out of here yet. Wow. Big one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him up. Might have to. Dudes, this is a solid one. Woo! Let's see. Might be a little tricky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that fish. Big fish out of here, guys. Oh, wow. How are we gonna do this? Hey, would y'all mind helping me? That would be so amazing. Um, if you could, this, oh my goodness, this would be so amazing of you. If you could, could you just hold this while I run around? Okay, don't let that go. <laughs> oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this? Let's see, maybe, oh, oh that's stuck. If you can just hit the button where your thumb is, your left thumb, and it'll let it loose. I wonder if I can just walk in and get it. It might be pretty deep. I don't know. Woo! Come here, fishy, fishy. Oh, got him, okay. Okay. Woo! Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you. Okay, you can reel it up. I'll be right there. Thank you so much. All right, let's get the phone out of the pocket. <laughs> phone and AirPods out of the pocket. Big one over there by the turtles. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you guys so much. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Check him out. Have y'all ever fished out of here before? Yeah. No, teamwork, teamwork little buddy. I appreciate you. Yes, I just make some videos on YouTube, some fishing videos. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him on the scale and weigh him and then I'm gonna put him right back in the water. Wow, what a sign guys, all those turtles are out there. Battery's about to die on the GoPro, let's see what we got here. Solid fish. There we go, 2.95, about three pounds. Let's fishing right here. Crazy. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. He was out deep where those turtles were, nice and warm. I had to set all my gear down and uh, we're just gonna tighten you guys up so that doesn't happen again. 
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get her back in the water. She's been out a few minutes now, so let's go ahead. There she is. All right, she's got it. Go on. Look at that. Look at that. Three pounder out deep, guys. How crazy was that catch? That was probably the craziest catch I've ever put up on YouTube right there. Thank goodness that, that family was right there and they were able to help me out with that. I would have had to try and pull them up, but I don't think it would have worked, guys. That was 17 pound fluorocarbon, but a three pound bass, just straight vertical weight, that would have been a challenge. And I wouldn't want to put, put, put the bass in jeopardy either uh, by you know having it drop from 20 feet. So that was just, wow. <laughs> Bryce and I were just talking about how there hasn't been too many big fish caught out here lately. Big ones could be stacked up right there. They could be just staging, waiting for the water to warm up a little bit more and then come in closer, shallow. She had the bandito bug bit for quite a while because uh, you know I had got that one hit, but I did not want to set the hook until I knew for sure. And so I was making sure it was swimming. It did feel a little heavy, but I was kind of worried that might not have been her. And then I felt a second tug. That's when I said, let's go. And we got her out far. Definitely glad I got that Lunker 7.6 heavy rod. Oh my goodness. You guys are curious about any favorite rods, by the way. Uh, this is just recently announced. You get a 20% discount at checkout with my code Weston20, and I'll drop that in the description for you guys. Super stoked on that catch. I'm gonna have to get to work now. Literally gotta end the vlog. Let me just hit you all with the recap real fast to close this thing out, man. And that was, I'm pumped, dude. I want to stay in fish, but I can't. I just don't have time. And I would rather stay in fish if like Bryce or Christian was here still. That way, if something like that happens again and it's an even bigger fish, they could really help me out. But yeah, those turtles are just still hanging out in that area. Uh, that, that, that spot must just be a little bit warmer or something. It's absolutely crazy. This is what did it, y'all. And then I got the Bandito Bug by Guggen Bates on here. It has been absolutely killing it for me, along with the crack and crawl on the trench hog, really, to be honest, if you watch my most recent videos. And so, uh, man, I've just been throwing every color. Black and blue is what got that big one. And then more of like a watermelon color got them over there on that bank and then off the other balcony. I really hope you guys dug this video, man. It was a ton of fun to put together. If we can get this thing to 500 likes, which will be a huge milestone, known for me I will do more fishing off balcony videos for you guys in the future and I might even come back here and try and link up with the five and try some places downtown let's get after it y'all I appreciate every one of you see you on the next one peace out